Hello and welcome to my video on how to um, put the electronic parking brake on your car into service mode without using any tools. Um, this video was filmed using a Renault Scenic Mark III, a Grand Scenic. However, in all likelihood this is going to work for any electronic parking brake um, calipers that have two wires feeding them. Um, and you can see in the video how how we can um, fully retract the, the caliper um, parking brake mechanism in order to change the discs and pads or just the pads if you wish and then put it back again afterwards such that the car is blissfully unaware. Right, so the first thing we want to do is take the handbrake off so if we hold down the button without putting our foot on the clutch that wakes it all up and then with our foot on the brake we push that down you can see that the brakes are now off and it's it's beeping to warn us. Now we're going to disconnect the battery. Okay, so we've cracked off the engine cover of the battery and we're just going to remove the battery now, like so. Okay, so now the battery's off and the brakes are still off. So the car is now nicely asleep. It has no awareness now of what's going on to it, but it thinks its brakes are off. So what we need to do is when we finish, we need to make sure the brakes are off still and all will be happy for it when we reconnect it. What we've done is we put some spade connectors on the end of a piece of electrical cable and as you can see we've plugged them onto the terminals on the bottom of the, um, the brake caliper. The blue one is to the back of the car and the brown one is to the front of the car. Now we've got a battery here and we've got, remember the handbrake's off at the moment because we took the brake off before we put it to sleep. We put blue on positive so blue is the back of the car and if we touch it to the front Put this one here, front one to negative. So blue the back, blue the back of the car is positive. That put the brakes on. You heard it change tune at the very end. It's very important you don't go past that tune or you'll wreck the motor. So we've established that putting the back terminal of the of the caliper, and this is on the passenger side, and we're putting the back one to positive, makes the caliper put the handbrake the brakes on. So if you move the blue and put the blue back terminal onto the negative then we can back off the handbrake so that's taking us back to where we were and then we'll back it all the way off long way isn't it yeah you had to change tune again that means we must stop so we've backed it all the way off now and that's as easy as it is in a minute we'll put it back again after we've changed the after we've changed the um the disc and we put new brakes on I'll then put the blue wire which is the back of that caliper power to the positive and wind it the other way until it's all the way locked on and then I'll back it off just a little bit so when the car wakes up it'll be just like it was. Okay now we need to pump the brake now we fitted the new disc look lovely new disc and brake pad now we need to pump the brake to bring it back in again before we do the motor this. See it's still asleep. Pump the brake. Pump the brake a bit. There we go. So that should now move the caliper in. Okay. So now we need to advance the motor. So remember to put the brake on. We put the blue here. We're going to put it on the handbrake. We're putting the brake on. Right, brake's on, so to check it shouldn't move now. It doesn't. Good. Now, last bit. We need to trick the brain of the computer to think everything's just like it was when it went to sleep. So we're going to back it off just the same amount that it normally does when you take the brake off. Ready? Steady. That's about the same. And that means that when it locks them back on again, it'll think everything's great in the world. When we put the car back to wake, it'll think, get brakes off just like I left them. Okay, now we're doing the driver's side of the car, here, and you can see over here, I put the terminals the same way around, I put the blue ones to the back. Now this time, I've noticed when I took the wires off that the colouring was the other way around, so I'm making a guess, and I'm thinking that if you put the blue to negative this time, that's the back of the car to negative, it'll put the brakes on. Let's find out. You can hear past the birds. Yep. Okay, so on the driver's side, you have to put the terminal that's back, most at the back to negative. You want to put the brakes on. So we put the brakes on now. Now let's back them all the way off. So we take the back terminal 
of the caliper and we put it on positive this time and we'll feed it till the brakes come all the way off. Give me a little bit of time so we don't go jam it. There we go. So now they're all the way off. And again, we're going to now change the brake um, disc and the brake pads, which I won't video. And then afterwards, we'll just um, put the brakes, pump the foot brake again, and then put the brakes nice and tight, um, and then take them off again. So when the car wakes up, it's just like it was, that the brakes are just the right amount off. Once again, with the... Um once again, with the power off, so it's all going to sleep. Pump the brakes a bit. Okay. Let's have a look at the fluid level in the reservoir. That's got too high. We'll have to drain some of that out. So let's have a look. No, actually, it still looks looks quite happy still, which is handy. That's because the new the pads I had in there were fairly new. The people who bought the car from me replaced the pads, but not the discs. So actually, we didn't have to retract the cylinders quite so much, perhaps. Right, so now we've done that. The, pre the brakes have been advanced using the, um, the foot brake. Now we just need to put the brakes on the car. And if you remember, if I remember, it's negative to blue and a bit of positive, and we should hear the brakes advancing. If they don't start advancing, immediately stop, because it means you've got the wires the wrong way around. Remember, blue is the back when I've connected. So actually, let's check they're not in short circuit after all that fiddling around I've been doing. I would hate to make a big spark and melt one of the terminals. Nope, they look quite happy. Right, so as I say, if it didn't move, stop and check because you might have got the wires the wrong way around. You don't want to tighten them so tight they won't do. I'm pretty sure that if we do this, yep, can you hear them advancing? Got the birds singing. Right, bringing them back in. Oh, right, do you hear it change tune? That means the brakes are on. So now we shouldn't be able to turn the rotor because the handbrake is on. And we can't. That's a relief, isn't it? So now we need to back them off the same amount as the car would. So, because remember, when the car wakes up from its operation, when you put the battery back on, it's going to think it brakes off because that's how it was. Well, hopefully it will. So here we go. Ready? Oh, I haven't swapped it over. That was naughty. Swap it over. Here we go. Positive to the back one. Positive to blue this time, and back it off. About right. So that one should be off now. And that should be all we have to do with the automatic parking braking system. Yep. So now, when the car wakes up from its dreams, hopefully it will think everything's just fine. We'll find out in a minute. Well, I haven't put the wheel back on yet, but it's almost too exciting to wait and find out what happens when we put the power back on. So I've connected up both sides now. Everything's ready. I just need to put that last wheel back on. I don't know why I'm not doing it afterwards. I just can't wait, really. It's too exciting. So we're going to put that back on there now and see what the hell happens. Here we go. Right, well, as you can see, we put the battery back on. Let's go and see what it says on the dashboard. You may have noticed I've already had a look. Thankfully, it says ply parking brake. It doesn't say what the hell's going on. You've been messing with me. So that's good. Let's ply parking brake, see if it works. Well, bloody hell, it does. Everything's good in the world. It woke up from its operation. It found the brakes off. And it was happy. 